So I promised back months ago that the next time I saw a pomegranate in the grocery store, I would grow it again after our big fail with pomegranates. Well, I picked up a pomegranate last night. So here we go, growing a pomegranate from seed. Take two. So today we're gonna try and do. So today we're gonna try and do the pomegranate again. So right here, like right this. And if you guys haven't seen um our first video with the pomegranate, this is my favorite fruit in the whole world. What happened with the other one was um. The seeds got moldy, it was overripe, and we left the pulp on, trying to see if it would germinate with the pulp. Ember, do you need help? No. I'm You're making good. me nervous. So we've got the paper towel on top of the cutting board to absorb the juice so it doesn't get everywhere. But it's a really yummy juice. There we go. My favorite thing in the whole world. Okay, now, nice. we're gonna take the pulp off of one of these seeds. <laughs> and show you what the seed looks Ooh. like. And the easiest way to take the pulp off is eating it. Is to eat it off. Usually you don't eat pulp off. There's still some pulp on it. But that's okay. So, I'm going to pause this video and take the knife away because little Miss Anna wants some too. I'm scared if she eats the seed. So nothing's gonna happen if she eats the seed. I'm afraid she's gonna bite it and crack a tooth. Mmm. Mm Nummy. Mm-hmm. Nummy. Now these are really good it's if you take happy. the pulp and you juice them and you put them into some black tea. Nummy, mommy? Mm-hmm. But I really, really, really dislike it when my mom does that. So I want to give you guys a little. I want to give you guys a little bit of information about our next video. I got these cookies before my birthday, and they are pumpkin. And my mom is allergic to pumpkin, so she's gonna occupy Anna. But um, take me through it step by step, even like if I don't know. I'm gonna sit back, and there's one with no pulp on it. Oh. I did a couple, but they have a little pulp. But I'm going to sit back and I'm going to supervise Ember making some pumpkin cake and cookies all on her own. And going That'll to put some words in and advice to all the parents out there whose children want to learn how to cook, want to learn how to bake, but they want to make it easy so the child understands and has fun. So it's, it's a box mix. It's not our mix. But it's basically following directions and doing math. Okay, so... Ooh, Mommy, what's this? That's Pip. Why don't you... Ooh, why don't you show them that? The inside of a pomegranate has a whole bunch of seeds covered by pulp inside of a pith. That's it. And one last fact about my favorite fruit, besides that it's pink, but it looks like it's a red... But it only grows in fall, and it's very rare to find it in summer. The supermarket only carries it in the fall. And they have these little, like, trees on them. I'm not sure if you could see them. That's from the flower. Longer. Yes, there was flower going on this, but that's before they were ripe. So when we get enough seeds... We are going to plant some in the soil and see if we get a pomegranate tree. We're not going to do a wet paper towel because there is far too much. It's far too likely that it's going to mold and rot the seeds. Yeah. But if you look really carefully inside the seed, you can see the seed through the pulp. Mommy, want to know what these also remind me of? Mm hmm. There's these berries that grow in our bushes out there, and they, 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 um, they're red at the top, but, like, if it's ripe, you don't eat them, but, like, if it's, like, ripe, the seed is actually sticking out, and when the seed does that, it, the seed actually just pops out when you pick it. Are you talking about belladonna? 
the red seeds that grow Dead, on Deadly nightshade that grows wild up here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't even touch it and then eat food. Because if you touch it and get the sap on you and eat food, you can make yourself sick or kill yourself. Dead <laughs> one? Mm-hmm. Okay. And never eat it. It's a little sour at first if you just start eating pomegranate and you're not used to it. But when you are used to it, it's not that sour anymore. So it's kind of like a rubbery feeling. Never bite into um, it because it's like the earth. It's layered. Like the outside, a little bit of the inside, and then the inside. I swapped fruits with my sides of the fruit with my sister. She had the mango part right here. That's Pull. what I call it. That bulging part from the, earlier. The pith. And so, for me, right there, it has a buttload of stuff of the um, fruit. And it's the most sweetest part of it. First layer, it's a little sour. But, uh, but that's in the middle. As you go towards here, it's sweeter. But it's what has the most air right now. So, you squeeze some of the juice in your mouth. Squeeze some of the juice in your mouth and the top one. Find the difference. Which one you like better. Done. Okay, so these seeds here with no pulp on them. And these seeds here with pulp on them. We're going to pick the seeds with the least amount of pulp. And we are going to plant them in the dirt. <sighs> There's one left in my hand. She's going to put them in the soil so that we could see how she's doing it. Not where mommy surprises are, though. And she's going to cover them up with the dirt. So we've got one right here. We're just going to push it into the soil. Just a little bit because they're not... We're going to do this. Get that one out. That one has pulp on it still. Mm-mm. Look at it. Look at all my little microbe friends. You know what? I have predatory mites in here. There we go. We're going to keep the soil moist. And keep you updated. As of right now, this is what they look like. Yes, there's a whole bunch of decomposing organic matter on the top, but that feeds the soil. And because it's on the top, it's not composting, so it does not rob the pot of nitrogen. Now, pomegranates are full of antioxidants, and from what I've read up... And yumminess. Uh, yes, and a yumminess. And from what I've read up, they're very quick-growing and will produce a fruit faster than most fruits that you grow from seed. So we'll keep you updated on that if they sprout.